Welcome back to 10 Targets Detecting. My name's Camille and this is the channel I try and find 10 good targets every video. Last video I was at this vacant block. Construction workers cleared it. They took away some topsoil which sucks which means they took away treasures. Since that dig I found out that there was a uh, bus stop. There was a structure here but also a bus stop and the bus stop was a place where workers were transported from here to a particular site um, back in about the 1950s. So that explains the multiple pennies and half pennies I found last time, I reckon. Uh, let's see what we can find today. I focused on this area last time. This time I'm gonna go in that long grass, hopefully get out to where I thought some other surface finds might be where it's been cleared. Oh, let's go. So out of the hole, so when I swung before I opened it, it was 65 one way and then 70 something the next way. And now we're getting 60s and 70s and more of a 70, but a high pitch. But anyway, it's a bloody coin. Oh, someone asked me to stop swearing. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna try again. It's a coin. It's a beautiful Commonwealth penny, 1919. Let's just keep going. Just in here. Just in here somewhere. Oh, when I, when I bend down, do you know what I do? I look for surface finds. I do have to get one to go and left it back. What do we do? Oh, that's right. My eyes, I'm not even looking down at this thing. I don't scratch anything. It's a bit shallow. I didn't give it any. I didn't give it any. I didn't put my foot in it. Still there. This takes too long, doesn't it, for a service ride? Oh. Just there. Oh. When I did this. Okay, sorry, that was taking a while, but I'm just looking at this bit of metal here and whether or not that's anything. I didn't give it any again. Oh, where's my strength? Where's my strength today? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so is it connected? Is it that metal? Is it that? Yes, it is, I think. Oh. Yes, I think. I don't know. I can't see what's what. Oh, there it is. I'm so sorry that took so long. Look at that lovely green we got ourselves. Half penny. Sorry that took so long. Jesus. When you have your pinpointer on max sensitivity, which I do because I usually go for deep targets, it's worth turning it down when you're this shallow and uh, helps pinpoint a bit quicker. Let's go. God, I should just keep rolling, right? So I haven't covered up where that half penny came from. Had another swing. 66. Be another one and maybe that's why my pinpointer was saying oh it's dead on top oh they were on top of each other oh what i thought did we did you already all know that what i thought oh you are seriously camille time for a coffee um what i thought was the imprint is actually a coin i don't want to scratch it oh, oh isn't it Oh, it's another one. Oh my God. A bit silly of me, wasn't it? We, when I saw that green on the other one, didn't we? And that's because they were dead on top of each other. Come off half penny. The other one was a roux, I think, 1921. All right, moving on. Just remember to just keep rolling. So half penny, spill, two of them. It's called a spill. Or do some people call that a hoard? Not sure, 79 double jumping. What do you think, guys? We're gonna get ourselves another silver from here. This is so much fun, because every time I bend down, I just look for service finds. I'm like, mm, can you see anything? And I don't focus on the task at hand. Let's do what I just said before. Down, down. Oh, gives a better, gives a better pinpoint, I reckon, when it's so shallow. That's what I reckon. 
when the sensitivity is too high for the shallows. Oh, all oh, these things they kept turning up last time. Oh, and ants. Ants are turning up this time. Okay, this is a rubbish ringing up nicely. Just like last hunt, another video. Hmm, so much fun, isn't it, when they're so shallow? And get to bend down. We have a look around. What's on the surface? Last time we found a marble, we found a penny. Oh, I forgot where I was looking because I was looking somewhere else. I forgot where this thing was going here. Don't forget, I turned the sensitivity down. So that helps pinpoint. <laughs> um, a marble, oh, that's right. There was a rip on the surface. It's too good to be true when they're all this shallow, isn't it? It's gonna be that rubbish again, a one cent piece. I feel like this is gonna be a one cent piece. Did it come out? It did. Oh, there it is. And we are accurate. One cent piece, I think. We'll just keep on going. Sniper coil doing what it does best. Boom. In amongst long grass. Can't see a thing on that side, but if you want to see the screen, it's 70s. Oh, and it's getting together. So nice. Oh, this is such an enjoyable dig. It's just get in. So nice. Not a, it's not like an amazing park. I've got to worry. Just got to fill in these bits. So good. Deeper. Oh, that's right. Let's turn it up. Hopefully. Get a bit. Yeah, I've got to get deeper. Just in the side. Ugh, let's just see if I can do it a bit deeper. Because there's nothing like better than a live dig and seeing what it is together. Just takes me a bit longer because of the one hand. Oh, I think that's an imprint. Just there. Oh, yep, I can see coin. Oh! What? I thought I could see a coin. I could not. Do you know what it is? It's these things. I find them quite regularly. They're these rings that used to come out of the vending machines. Ready? Turn it around. Kids used to... This is a good sign. Could be some other kids' toys, but yeah. Ah, the rings. Sometimes they had little animals on them. Sometimes like a bit of a gemstone. Oh, it looks like it's got a cross on the side. Anyway, we'll clean that up later. They do ring up quite nice. So there was the ring. Still just going so close by. Have we got a little ring spill? Oh, it feels a bit larger. You can't see anything there. I'm just doing this for myself so I can get a better idea of the size. If I swing up high, it registers at inches off. We'll just dig a bit. Oh, wait, I do think it's a bit larger. <gasps> Someone who was playing with a cap gun lost their ring and their cap gun. Oh, I like that little narrative. Ugh. Oh, were they eating a, a tin of something? And Oh, these things. Blood. Oh, stop swearing. That lady asked me to stop swearing. These things. This is about like the fifth one I've found now. Ringing up nicely. I'm just going to keep digging them because you've got to dig through this to find the treasure. Oh, look, I was going to jinx myself, but see these, where is it? 58, I saw a 50. There was a, hmm, interesting. I was getting a consistent 58, 59 recently and pulling out a sixpence. Three bars down, sixpence on an angle. Oh, fingers crossed. Three bars. If it's a, a smaller target, it won't be three bars. If it's smaller, it will be a bit more shallow. Ringing up as three bars. Oh. The one hand dig in the wet. One glove. No. No. Could also be um, 
a uh, like a one cent ringing up low. Oh. Can't see anything. Good old handful. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yo, BLT. Told you they're ringing up about that. You get to know your machine, don't you? When you're on it for so many hours. 1956. So many good things here. Including some urban silver. Get a look at that. We put here sixpence. Now we're in the 80s. Let's go this way. Yep. I just love doing a bit of a crossover to help pinpoint. You know, you can use your little pinpoint button as well. And then the small coil. The small coil tells you so much easier than the larger coil uh, where the target is. Such a win using a small coil. I don't know if this is three bars down there. Oh, there we go. Nothing better on the shovel dead center as in the pinpoint dead center of that we got a, a muddy kangaroo penny into the pouch I just want to keep on going and finding good stuff so cool moving in like a very small area I literally have just moved that little dirt bit that there and then this grass and we're still pinging pip ping three bars at 80 could be more of that that those little metal scraps we're coming in like this, but I cannot leave it. I must dig these. I'm definitely might not be scrap. Could definitely be another coin. Oh, oh it's that scrap thing. See, it's that scrap thing. And I know I'm learning. I thought it might have been that. From the screen it was so dead flat but i'm definitely i'm still digging them you just don't know this is a 62 target id I, if this is a gold coin that's really weird maybe it's this weird angle it's on it is a gold coin oh and it's bent up all she munched but that came in at 62 65 do you reckon i can spell spend that at the shops let's see eh i always give it a go we're gonna pull out a silver 80 84 85 two cents silver penny up high but it's registers down here only down there we can do it together nothing better than a live dig never know what you're gonna get really you, you do you, you know you can guess but you also might go oh my god a big chunky silver ring yep let's see together in the plug so suggestive of two cents or these things they bloody they bloody stop saying bloody they do ring up nice i apologize if that lady's still watching who doesn't let me swearing i'm gonna try I'm gonna keep on trying that's all i can do but i don't edit these videos they just this is it the one take whatever i've said goes on the video if you're new to my channel I hope you know that I do not do any redos. This is as good as I get. Stompy stomp and we move on. And this video goes on. That's it. There's no editing. Uh, 54, target ID, three bars down. It was a little bit sketchy, but I'm digging the clip clop. I think it's part of a toy in the long grass. Well, it's long grass now. But uh, did someone play and lose this or, don't know. But uh, we just we just keep on going here. That's right. Keep on going. That's right. I I think more swinging. Put the toy. Put the toy. Put the find away. More swinging. More digging. More finding. This was a forty shallow target ID. So we know what it's going to be, don't we? Twenty cents, right? Forty target ID. Oh, what's the twenty cents? Is we all want to find? Is it a nineteen sixty six with the what, with the curly? There's like a really cool one that's worth so much where it's got a curly wavy thing on the two anyway uh more swinging less talking more finding more treasures 
All this long grass is reminding me I do need to get home and do some whippersnipping. But what's more important? Rescuing this stuff out of the ground, I reckon. My lawn can wait another, another few hours. Oh, there she goes. Two cent piece also comes in around that 82, 83, 84 target ID. Keep swinging. Two cent piece. Stomp that in a bit better, eh? And then 90. 88, 90. Is it both ways? Sure is. If we swing up high, inches off, starts to register when we get low. Oh, we do it together. What has this site not produced? A big fat flaws. We need it in the 90s. I reckon for that business, we might be looking at another penny. How cool are old bus stops, eh? Find yourself an old bus stop. Oh, did I even turn you on? I did. Am I deeper? I am. But I am deep. I nearly said that word again. Oh, that lady. Now, I may have disturbed it. So let's see if it registers the same it does. Am I already out? Stand by. What do you think? Because it's so shallow. What do you think? One of those scrappy bits of metal or a coin. Go on, go on, go on. Guess, 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 guess. Now's the time. Mm, did you say coin? Because you'd be right. Kangaroo penny. Another one for our troubles. It's just getting boring, just digging penny after penny after penny. Well, let's hope this is something different. Money. I saw the 90, but alas, it does not hold. It drops down. If it was just staying at the 90 mark, we would be getting excited about a possible silver. But for the moment, we are expecting another copper coin or some trash. Penny count is pretty high here, as it is, I think, quite everywhere. Oh, it's not, it's a two cent. Oh, dropped it, there we go. Oh, dropped it again, of course. Oh. I just love wearing gloves though. I feel way more protected when I can dig with these gloves. Yes, someone messaged me and said they're very thick. I'm like, yes, that's how I like them. So the sniper coil in amongst the long grass in a, and accepting it's only a small area. That's what I get my head around. It's round on the target trees. Um, I do not try and do a large area. I try because I sort of like to grid and overlap. I'm literally just going from here up and then I've come back and I've gone up and then I've now come back and I haven't been here for long. Let's be honest, I've would have dug off significant holes because I want to be fast and efficient and it just takes me a little bit longer when I, oh, when I don't pinpoint properly, when it's deeper, are you serious? Is it in here? It is. There it is. It's a coin. And, yep. 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 Looks like the shape of a Commonwealth half penny. I think I can see a rim. I cannot remember the Oh, 80 something. So I'm probably a kangaroo half penny at those numbers. Um, I'm just waffling. I'm gonna keep going. I'll tell you what I dig in these sort of places. I dig pretty much everything. This is clip clop. It's not amazing target trace. It's sort of blah, we get some stuff in the ferris. 64, often when you pinpoint it bleeds into the ferris, if it is ferris, is it bleeding into the ferris? Yes it, yes it is. So we think it's, it's only one way, which yeah, let's just dig it to show it's not gonna be a good target. And I wanna be proven wrong but if you were time poor, you might think about leaving it. But not me, not me today. And I am actually time poor, but that's okay. I want to 
show you my interpretation of that screen for this target in this site. I do find things change depending where I where I am and look at the ground it's wet. Does things change for you when it's wet? I love hunting after the wet, after the rain. Trash, 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 trash. I hope I'm proven wrong. And then my theory is you got to dig everything because you just don't, you honestly can't leave, leave one way clip clops ever. Oh, I can't see anything with my eyeballs. Did I pull it out already? Oh. Nope, there it is. Oh, it's a, it's like a bolt or screw or something. It's so wet. Oh, I really can't get it. So, one way... Um, there, here it is. That bit on the top gives a bit of a nice tone for a minute. Those things around the top, not the actual nail bit. The, the detective was telling me it wasn't going to be good. 82, 83 shallow. I thought, yeah, two cents. Popped out. Another half penny. Oh, anyone think the silver's close? I wonder how much a bus ride was, but it was a half penny. Oh, here are some good numbers. Oh, hang on, it was a... 57. I look, I think it's going to be trash. I actually picked out some trash from here. But you never know if something good is next to trash. And I've been finding sixpence on their sides and funny angles that come up like this. At three bars. We'll dig it. Just here. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah, this digger is amazing, it's so strong, I wouldn't leave her, I wouldn't leave her diggers to be honest, but I'm just getting in and do a little lever and then the whole thing can pop out, and just got to keep on digging and eventually you find stuff, it's like probabilities. Oh, just turned on. I heard the click. Deeper there, but in here. Sometimes when there's more rubbish, you find stuff down here, but you, you need to you need to check. Oh, two hands is good when you're doing this last little bit. Oh, something dropped. Yeah, something dropped. Which way did it go? Something dropped. Oh my god! See? Sixpence! We did it live! I hope I the camera. I was looking I was looking away from the camera. 1951. Oh my god, is that the year my friend was like, you need to find 1951s because that's when I was born. Brun. Is it a 51? Um anyway, I don't even know if I've got a 51. Sixpence might be one for my album. Anyway, let's move on. Beautiful urban silver. What do we find lots of? Can you see it? I can see it on the side. It was a 72. We're getting random target IDs for these Australian kangaroo pennies. Another one for the collection. Let's keep on going. Okay, I didn't turn you on for that. That was just that penny that I just showed you because I'm I'm actually trying to rush. I, you should never rush detecting, but I'm trying to get through this long grass just so I can go and get to the surface finds and the cleared out area. What do you think? Here's my headphones. 80, 79. Punchy, right? Very punchy. Ah, move this stick. Hang on. Let's do it together. Um, is it time for another silver? Oh my god. So, this is exciting. Just a place full of 
targets that, you know what, you don't throw out. There's more good targets than trash. Jinxed it now. This is going to be some trash, right? Oh, there we go. Another half penny. Let's keep going. What do you reckon? Where are you? Here. 71, 75. Both ways. 68. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh, I definitely have to, you know, return so many times to a site like this and jump in all metal mode and dig, you know, so many of the lower numbers, stuff around the, in the 30s, looking for some of the thrips with the lower silver content. If there's this many pennies and half pennies, there's certainly got to be some thrippins here. And last hunt, last video, we found just as I bent down, you know, a thrippin's on a surface. I think I felt something. Nope. Let's pull it out. What are ya? One centimeter is that small? Wow, there's, there it is. Okay. One oh one little cent. Punchy though, gave a good tone. All right, that was a one cent there, but you never know. We can't see a thing with the sun. Go this way. Oh, it's one way. Oh, and 50. Oh, no, there. That's what I like. I like this. Let's see if we can see this way. 70s, 80s. Does it feel a bit large? Let's check it out. Yeah. A few roots down there, actually. Let's. Did I go deep enough? Always the question when you do it one-handed. Oh, there's the root. Gonna have to. Oh, deeper. I'm gonna use two hands. Stand by. Got back up. Had a swing. Instead of going deeper. It's in here. So, may as well just find it together. I'm getting the one ten pieces that are punchy. And we're getting other coins. So, could be, an oh, there we go. I can see it. Is it a two cent piece? My word. It is. Oh, could I be lucky enough to get another six minutes? That is a 57, 58. Let's go where it's not glary. Oh, jumping up. Let's go this way. It is a 56, 57. But this way? I'll try and uh, stand in front of a 60 something. Hmm. Never know. Unless you dig it. Could be part of a toy car or something. Just a bit of a broken bit. Could be, I've been getting these little strips of metal, just a strip. And that that is a similar sort of tone and target ID to what those strips are coming in at. Move the shovel. these strips or what's this yes this this thing that explains the target ids differing i think from one way to the other uh i will put that in the pouch not in the rubbish pouch and uh i will give that a little wash up just to see what it is later quite heavy bit of rubbish here swung back over can't see, you can't see, I can't see that way, it's a bit glary here. This is the one I like. Have a little a listen. 87, come on, another silver please. Consistent, 86, 87. 
isn't it? I like to go like this, get my headphones back on. Yeah. I love using headphones. I feel like you can really hear the tones. You focus less on target IDs and really listen. I have my ferrous tones, my ferrous volume um, turned up a little bit as well. When I do all metal, I like to hear everything. Um, and um, I, look, I know I do a little dig, but I put this little chair protector, the floor protector, you know, what you put on the bottom of chairs. That's on my pinpointer. It's, it gets a bit of a battering. I don't like to dig with my pinpointer, but in this soft, muddy ground, I don't mind because it reveals another kangaroo penny. Let's keep going. It's actually non-stop digging in this long grass. 82, 84, I think it's just a two cent piece, but we're finding half pennies are coming in around that as well, right? Oh, oh God, that's tough. That is tough. Yep, that's better. That was a sudden tough bit. Oh, maybe not deep enough, but a two cent piece probably will. Yeah, here we go. Just a bit more shallow. The two cent pieces. Can you see? I don't know if I. One day I'm going to have a friend who can do some camera work. There it is, dropped. Oh, not a two cent piece, but they punch you these little round ringy things. They look great on the 2D screen. What's it from? Like an eyelid off something. All right, let's move on. Here's the target ID we're not seeing a lot of at the moment, 65, 66, other way, 66. Up, if I swing up high, a few inches off, starts to register. Maybe shallow. Let's have a look. In there, we'll dig it. Uh. And reveal itself. There we go. I can see it in here. 60 something is a. Oh, what have we found lots of? That's right. Another half penny. Oh, come on. Let's find something different. Just to show you the penny count, I uh, it was a 72 in this. I'm in amongst a longish of grass. So I just dug it, 72 another penny i don't know what we're up to with pennies but we need to find something a bit different don't we oh, i promise i'm not complaining about finding these free decimals um i'm not they're awesome but variety is good for this channel right so fingers crossed i'll just keep you rolling that was that penny in the long grass little swing let's dig a 44 45 together i love this consistent if it's 44 45 we're going to jump into 46 Let's swing up high. Oh, it does. It does register a few inches off the ground, which suggests a wrinkle. Let's just move the detector. Do one more. Uh, when you haven't got. Oh, ready? 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 You just don't know. Little thrips come in, don't they? around that mark sometimes wasn't very shallow of it wasn't very deep oh it's is it one of those where is it just to show you I do dig the trash I do dig the lower numbers there it is these ring pools right don't we dig them okay let's go and I'm actually pretty sad about like all this like a significant soils has been taken away with all the treasures and you can see there's sort of like an incline and so I've worked a bit of the incline on that side and I've just come over here and of course I'm using my eyeballs and uh, look this guy so you can see there's like nails and other things and then you find this guy 
So we'll get him into the pouch or oh, really eroded. Oh, spider or something. Get you off. All right, we'll keep going. I've got a bit of chat. I'm going to have to noise cancel. What time do I get here? But I do have to leave in about five minutes. So we're down to our last. I'll have to say goodbye. I reckon we've got ourselves a video. Oh, there she goes. Half penny. Hope I go home and clean something and go, wow, I thought it was a half penny, but it's not. It's something else. All right, let's go. I couldn't resist. I wanted to come down to the open area. And just with my eyeballs, there is a key. There is, so there's other rubbish, right? There is a two cent piece. And there was something, where was it? Yeah. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's only a little bit. It's a little bit. Oh, it's a marble. I've never seen a broken one. Does that mean there's gonna be other pieces? A marble. Can you see anything? Look, I'll give you a look just in case. My eyes are actually not amazing. I, need, I actually do need to wear glasses for distance. Let's just keep looking together. Dun, 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 dun. What else is on the surface? That is really what might be below. So let's grab the detector for the last 30 seconds before I say goodbye. Let's see if anything registers. I'm not overlapping my swings. I'm being a bit more ad hoc with my just sort of working in between. I was actually over in that grassy area. And now I've just come across here. I did go very briefly over there and that's where that toy car was. So I've been a bit random. I usually start one side grid, but I wanted to, oh, I heard a, I got a something, a little something, something. This will be our last, whatever it is. And then I'll say goodbye. That's what comes up. Bit of rubbish. Uh, can we end on rubbish? Oh, okay. Well, you can't really complain about a pocket full of, of pre-decimal coins, even if they're pennies and half pennies. Uh, we still got ourselves an urban silver, so happy days there. Uh, next video, we'll, we'll go somewhere else and fingers crossed for a bit more variety. But thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Here's the contents of the pouch cleaned up a little bit. We got our two sixpence, a 1951 and a 1956. They're gonna have a little bit longer in the bicarb, so we're gonna have a little bath. The pennies are pretty crusty, the half pennies. Oh my gosh, look at this guy, crusty. Uh, hopefully the tumbler will get a bit more detail. This turned out to be a made in England, a Lesney made in England, but uh, very corroded. Some rubbish, the broken marble. These are where the half pin is on top of each other. Don't forget to look out for that. When they're on top, you get that little spot. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe. Help that channel grow. It doesn't cost you anything. I would really appreciate it. We'll catch you next time on 10 Targets Detecting. Thanks so much.